Hey everybody, this is Melissa Clothier, the Right Doctor here um, at Red State Gathering in Austin, Texas. And it's just been an incredible weekend. And joining me right now is Steve Bannon of um, Citizen United, is the production company, and Victory Media is my film company. Is your yeah. film company. Yep. Okay, and what ha just happened is he showed me the trailer to his, the film that I had the privilege of, of seeing earlier this last week. It's only been a couple of days ago in Washington, D.C. Now we're at, in Texas. at BlogCon. At Blogger Conference, yes, yeah. by Freedom Works. And um, I just saw the trailer for it, and I have to say, you know, Steve wanted my reaction to it, and it was incredible. Just, Steve, what you've done is um, captured really what's going on right now in the movement and how it's being driven by women. Well, when I did the film, Dave Bossy, who's uh, the president of Citizens United, when he and I. Uh, talked a year and a half ago, right after Santelli, about doing mm -hmm. um, the film Generation Zero, about the financial meltdown. As I got involved in following the Tea Party and really putting that film together that talked about the cultural meltdown that led to the financial meltdown, I noticed that the, the, that the entire movement was just about driven by a ton of strong-willed women. And these are women. Is there any other kind of woman? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, these are women that have been apolitical before yeah, and not really true. been engaged. And so what I, Dave and I talked a, a, after Generation Zero, you know, came out is that we wanted to do, you know, we're doing a trilogy about the about the Tea Party movement and this kind of rebe populist rebellion. Mm -hmm. And the second one was naturally one to focus on this tectonic plate shift mm -hmm. uh, of having, you know, heretofore apolitical women, a lot of them mothers, a lot of them in middle age or, you know, in their, in their mid to late 30s that are mm -hmm. finally getting actively engaged in politics. And so we wanted to tell the story. And we wanted to do it by both using a combination of very known people like Ann Coulter and Michelle Malkin and uh, Michelle Bachman um, and, uh, and, and, and Congressman Schmidt and Congressman Loomis, but also to do it with people that were just coming, you know, had come through an awakening in themselves over the last couple of years and actually got not just actively involved and engaged, but it, that engagement had changed their lives. And so that's why we have, you know, people like uh, Dana Lash, and uh, we have people like Michelle Moore and Sonny Johnson and Jamie Radke and Deneen Borelli, that it's really the story of Jenny Beth Martin. Mm -hmm. We tell the story of these women's engagement in, in, this, in, this, uh, in this, this dramatic change in America. Uh, through the changes in their own lives, and I think that's, and I think we, you know, we're very fortunate. I think we've captured something, and that's what, if you go to the trailer, you'll see what we're trying to, what the, very much what the film is. Okay, so where can they find the trailer right now? Trailer, if you go to uh, firefromtheheartland.com, mm -hmm. you'll see the trailers up there. We've got, uh, it's a website. We've got all the interview. We've got the, all the 15 people there in the film, the 15 women in the film, and we've got the trailer and other ancillary um, uh, information. So it's. Uh, uh, it's all over the web right now. You can go to Vimeo or whatever. But I think to get the best feel is just go to the website and you'll see it. And it's okay. the first, the first, what we're really proud of, it's the first film ever about conservative women. Mm -hmm. And it's told with all female voices. They're the, only, the only male voice you, you hear in the entire film is Rick Santelli and his rant. Uh, other mm -hmm. than that, it's, a, it's an entire female cast. So mm -hmm. we're really, really excited about it. Um, and how is it being received on the left? We just came out. We had an article in Politico the other day and put a press release out and launched the site. Our premiere is on the 22nd, and, and we allowed Melissa, you, and, and a handful of other uh, bloggers came in and saw the, the film, uh, you know, and made some comments to me about 10 days ago. We've now finally locked the film down, and, and, uh, and we are screening, a, kind of a special screening tonight at, uh, at Red State Gathering. Um, we premiere in, in D.C. next week, uh, the 22nd. There we go to Smart Girl Politics, and from there we're going to go out and hopefully into theaters in, in early October. Um, the left, you know, we've already had, I think, 2.2 million Google, um, you know, uh, impressions. The, um, the, the, the trailer has gone all around. It's gone viral. It's gone all around the Internet. The left, you know, their heads are imploding because it's, it, it, it's exactly against the narrative that they lay out about the feminist movement mm -hmm. and about the, the patriarchy and how it suppresses women, mm -hmm. that their worst nightmare has now come to fruition, is that you've got a bunch of strong-willed, independent women. They're at the vanguard of a populist, conservative rebellion against the political class and against the, and against the, um, and against the financial class. And, mm -hmm. you know, what's happening to, um, to O'Donnell in Delaware 
uh, is a perfect example of uh, of what's uh, of what's going on. So it's uh, I think I think it's um, we were uh, we were very fortunate in this, and that history's kind of played out <laughs> that the film is uh, very much of the moment. But the left is going crazy about this because they already starting to to mock it, etc. Which is what we wanted. You know, we we wanted mm -hmm. we we knew this was going to draw a lot of fire from people on the left. Particularly, they don't want the story told. And they particularly don't want it told through the women who are actually living it. Mm -hmm. So that's what... Uh, Why do you think they don't want it told? Because I think it goes against... The, it totally goes against the narrative of how they've built this entitlement state. I mean, one mm -hmm. of the central components, you know, from the Generation Zero really went through the financial crisis showing how it was a cultural meltdown of the 60s that drove this. Right. And one of the central narratives of that is that there's a... You know, which Phyllis Schlafly goes into in the film, that there's a, an oppressive patriarchy right. that suppresses women. They can't back away from that. I mean, that, that is the entire welfare state, right. the entire entitlement state is built around that. Uh, the, the, you know, the non-necessity of, 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 of the family unit, the nuclear family, and, right. and, and uh, marriage between a man and a woman. Uh, and, 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 and really a man being an actively engaged part of, uh, of family life. And that cuts across everything they stand for. And so now to see that you have this populist rebellion called the Tea Party that fundamentally rejects many of the underpinnings of the modern socialist welfare state, mm -hmm. and to have that led by articulate, tough, you know, not going to back down women is their absolute worst nightmare. And that's what they're confronted with. And heretofore, they've tried to. Um, you know, what they're trying to do is, is to stigmatize these women as crazy. You right. know, Sarah Palin is crazy. Michelle Bachman is crazy. Right. O'Donnell is crazy. Right. That they're all marginal. They're all fringe. Right. What they can't hide from in this film, or Michelle Malkin or Ann Coulter, I allowed these women to speak in their own voice. And when you walk away from that, you may not agree with them. But you certainly can't sit there and say that they're crazy. And that is what I think that the left fears about this movie, is that if we get it out, and as I've been saying, is that there are many, many more people on our side of the football than we think. Um, mm -hmm. Today we've got a, a good you know, 30 or 40 percent of the country. I think there's 70 or 80 percent of the country that actually support our values. And that's why I'm trying to make films like this. To, to have, once, once people see films like that, a lot of women are sitting there and go, you know, I absolutely agree with you know, the people I'm seeing on stage, they're just like me and they believe what I believe. And I think that kills, that's why the left and the mainstream media always try to suppress this type of thing. So we're really excited about the reception so far. Well, what's interesting is like, I, I'm just thinking while you were talking, trying to make these women seem crazy, right? right. Well, the old term was hysterical. His, right. Hysteria, which right. is woman. Right. And that, um, so you have the leftists who supposedly champion women using the age-old yes. discriminatory language and methods to marginalize and yes. minimize women. Yes. Because these women yes. are uppity yes. and won't... <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. They're exactly. uppity. How dare they? Yes. And um, are kind of fighting against, what is this, yes. the new matriarchy? Yes. The yes. new, the new um, yes. patriarchy yes. on the left? Yes, exactly. And... You see, I think that that's why, that's why I was so excited when I first really got involved in the Tea Party movement and seeing how women were taking not just an activist role of, of actually doing things, but really taking almost a, a what should heretofore never really happened in American politics, taking an intellectual role. Yeah. I mean, by blogging, by commentating, mm -hmm. by, by, you know, all the women in this film uh, have become bloggers. They've mm -hmm. become commentators. And so that, they're, that at the, this revolution, they're at the vanguard intellectually, Mm -hmm. emotionally and through actions and that's never happened before in the, in the United States and, 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 and honestly I think that th that many of the problems we have in the world today are it will be changed by the, what the women are doing at the vanguard of this revolt in the United States I think that this will start to permeate throughout the world to South Asia to the Middle East to Asia to Africa to Latin America where women are taking an active, engaged role mm -hmm. in how society is structured and how, and not in the feminist model, right, where this right. is patriarchy has to be, but as an engaged part of the political process of which we're seeing in the Tea Party movement. And that's why I think you're seeing so many firebrands, whether it's Nikki Hanley, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's uh, O'Donnell, whether it's Palin, whether it's Bachman. And I think you're starting to see only this, this generation and the generation to follow are going to be, it's a very profound, um, it, 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 
it it's it's so much deeper than November second. Although November second is a very important date, this is a truly a, a tectonic plate shift in American culture and American politics. And I think that's what's got the left so freaked out. I think you're right. Well, thank you very much for making this film. Thanks. This is um, Steve Bannon and. So for everybody who want to see this, please go to... Yeah, if you go to the Citizens, first off, Citizens United is, yeah. is, the, is the studio. They've, they've produced and financed all these pictures uh, with Dave Bossy, my producing partner. You go to the Citizens United home website, mm -hmm. and you can get on, or you can go just to firefromtheheartland.com, uh, and you can get on, on that way and uh, come and spend as much time there and get to meet the, uh, the 15 women who, um, who uh, star in this film. Yeah, and as for just one last plug, having seen it, um, whether you're a woman or a man, seeing how the, the country is changing, it is, it's just an inspiring, inspiring, hopeful um, story that is being told. So thank you for telling it. Thank you very much, Melissa.